hi guys welcome back to my channel this is toy from the classic sassy life i have a super busy day on tomorrow so i decided to hop on real quick and show you guys how you can use your half sheets and stickers for a busy day so let's get into this video so i have a couple of half sheets um these three came in a pack um and i've I've been using this, but I love this chart here. So I think this is the one we're going to use. But you can pick your half sheet. I have the Glam Girl set of half sheets, which I really like too. So those two are some contenders. Then you also have these sheets here. Um, and I saw at home with Quita, um, just basically put this in half and put it into her planner. That way she could have her list and things on there. You can do it the opposite way. It's completely up to you. And you end up with your own half sheet. Or you can even repurpose a daily to-do sheet from your trendsetter, guys. All you would have to do is basically the same concept, just break it in half. Especially if you have um, a super busy day, then I would probably put it this way. And then you could break this down into home, school, children, whatever you have going on. So that's a great way to repurpose your trendsetter daily pages. So let's talk about which one I'm actually going to use. I want to use this one just because I haven't used this sheet. And to be honest, guys, I didn't even know I had it until I went looking through my... Um, Dash. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so I pulled out my Productivity Watercolor Sticker Book. I have not been a big hourly person in the past, but after doing this half sheet setup, it is, you're going to see it a lot more. I absolutely loved doing this. So what I did was just grab a hourly sheet from six to five, and then I also grabbed a power hour in the pink and purple shades. Um, just so I can tie in some different colors. So on this half sheet spread, you're going to see green, blue, different shades of those, and pink and purple. So now I need a to-do list. So of course I'm trying to stick with the same color theme. So I kept, kept it in the same book. And I had to move my colorful boxes box over um, a little bit because it was hanging off the side. So I'm adding on a to-do sticker and I need one more at the bottom just so I can lay out all the things that I have to do and then I can place them on my hourly page. So I pulled out a few sticker books that I may use as well as some sticky notes and I didn't end up using all of these. Um, and you see the purple sticker book for the student as well as the mom and dates and holidays. And I use that just to um, date it. That's why I pulled that sheet from Colorful Boxes. I ended up deciding not to use my sticky notes. I will be using those for the monthly spreads. They just work out a little bit better. And now you just see me writing down my massive to-do list, even though it may not look like a lot, guys. A lot of it is schoolwork, and I have like a complete module on there that's probably going to take me like four hours to complete. So it's National Donut Day, so of course I got to stop by and pick up a donut and um, a donut and some coffee from my favorite coffee place, which is Dunkin' Donuts. It has definitely taken Starbucks place in my mind on coffee. Um, but nothing can be a Krispy Kreme, but I don't have one in my area. Then I went into the regular productivity sticker book, the very first one, and I grabbed an appointment sticker because my son has a doctor's appointment. Then I went with my to-do list and just placed those items at the times in which I'm going to complete them.
Okay, so I'm just flipping through my productivity sticker book looking for an arrow sticker and I found these smaller coffee cups. So I fit, they fit a little bit better in that space. So that's what I decided to use. So then I went to my Today is the Day sticker book and just grabbed an arrow for there. Quick tip. If you need to find a sticker, look on the back of your sticker book and you can generally see all of the stickers that's in there so you can figure out which one you need versus flipping through all of your sticker books. I still like to flip through sometimes, but um, that's the quickest way to do it. So I pulled out my Sweet Life student sticker book. I'm definitely going to need that because it has all of the cute little donuts in there. So um, I'm just looking for um, a donut sticker to use. And I found this really cute pink frosted, well strawberry frosted donut, which is the one I'm going to be getting for National Donut Day. And now it's time to do a little bit of decorating. So I grabbed this pink um, sticker that says work like a boss and I could not locate my scissors. So I grabbed um, my X-Acto knife and I just used my sticker book to cut off of and I cut the excess off of there. And because I have tons of readings to do, of course, I'm going to use these gorgeous glasses that I have begun loving. I want to be in the bed by 11.30, so I use those little um, eyelashes. I thought that was so cute. I've never used those before, so I'm glad that I was able to use them in this um, mini spread. And then I just put a few motivational quotes around, like, you can do this, uh, make today count. So then I decided to do a little bit more decorating with the donuts because once again, it's National Donut Day. So I went in and I cut one of the, I'm assuming vanilla frosted donuts, and then I cut the inside out with my X-Acto knife. They, that's what you see me doing there to kind of make it look more like um, a donut. And then I used it along with that chocolate frosted donut there on the side and I thought that was really cute so finally guys I have some errands to run so I want to write down the list of things that I need to grab that way I, I can use this one sheet all day and I'll be able to check off those things so um I just flipped my sheet over onto the back and I went looking in my planner basic sticker book and I found this errand sticker and I placed that there. So those are the three places that I need to stop by. And then I'm going to use my colorful boxes to um, write down the actual place that I'm going and the things that I need to purchase while I'm there. So that's what you're going to see me doing for these last few minutes in this clip. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you really like this video and if you want to see more like it. Keep God first in everything you do. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, guys, what are you waiting for? Click the red button to subscribe and the bell to be notified when new videos come out. And as always, guys, I want you to plan a classy and sassy life. Bye.